your seminar this morning was about creating a, a successful YouTube channel, correct? Partly, yes. It was okay. uh, social media marketing and the YouTube space, basically. And a majority on YouTube space? No, not at all. In fact, one of the things I encouraged in that was to branch out outside of YouTube and not just make YouTube your only thing. Okay. Reason I, being... Sorry, sorry. This ahead. is just my next question is, what would you recommend to some, someone starting off on YouTube? Well, first of all, I'd recommend that they consider it. Well, first of all, you got to come up with a cool name. But as soon as you come up with that cool name, the next thing I recommend is buying the URL, buying the, the .com or .net or whatever. In fact, all of them that go along with that name, even if you're not intent on getting a website initially. Okay. Reason being, say you become successful like I've become successful and you one day decide to develop a website. Well, you go to try to get a website and it might be purchased already. It might belong to somebody else. So in order to prevent that, start early. Because URLs are cheap on their own. Yeah, they are. But if somebody already owns one, <laughs> then... Very expensive. Yeah, and it would really suck to develop Eric the Car Guy and then want to develop a website and have to make it like the real EricTheCarGuy.com instead of EricTheCarGuy.com, <laughs> something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so from the onset, think of building a brand, not just a YouTube channel. If that's what you're intent on doing, if you're intent on making this your goal, your YouTube goal, think of it as a brand from the beginning and use it like that. Okay. Social media, incorporate that as well because people may not necessarily find you on YouTube, but they may find you on Twitter. And then they come to realize that, oh, he's got a YouTube channel. So you do all these different things. I call it the social media octopus, where it just helps bring things in to your central brand, and you use that to help perpetuate everything. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram Snapchat, whatever. whatever Vimeo. Vimeo is another option because YouTube, don't make YouTube your only option. Okay. Look for multiple streams of income anywhere you can. And that will help drive, well, that will help you buy new equipment and do the things you got to do, but it will also help drive your brand going forward because it'll be available in more than one space. Yeah, and then when it comes to sponsorships, you could also say, hey, listen, now, you know, I also have Excellent this news point. mail, I have this email list that I have access Excellent. to, I have well, all my Twitter followers. I'm really animate about not selling my email list because okay, well, those are my fans that came to yeah. me. You know, if I'm going to sell them something, they'll get it through me. So it's a great way to deal with sponsors that can sponsor your videos and things like that okay. is the way I would approach it. But personally, I avoid selling email lists because I hate that. I don't want, I, who wants spam? Nobody. Nobody wants spam. So don't, don't sell their emails, but keep their emails and sell them. Your, well, do your own spam. They signed up for you. Wow. That was a big raindrop. <laughs> it was trying to take me out, man. <laughs> Like I saw LeBron James has like 25 million followers on Twitter and it's like he gets paid like $25,000 if a sure. company comes to him and says, hey, tweet sure. this out for me. Okay. Well, and that's one thing you'll deal with as you become more successful. More and more people will reach out to you and try to leverage your brand for them and, and you can turn around and use that for extra income. Exactly. But there's a balance. I mean, you can't upset your audience. Your audience comes to expect a certain something from you. And you have to work towards that. So when other sponsors come in and want to change that direction a little bit to alter things to their way of thinking or, or to try and sell their products, you have to be careful doing that. First of all, believe... Has that happened to you? Oh, yeah. I call it managing opportunities. In fact, that's the bulk of what I do now. People reach out to me constantly asking me to help them promote this or, or show this product or do a review on this, especially since I started doing tool reviews. I'm inundated with requests to do these types of things. And anybody that's a successful YouTuber right now is going to have those kinds of things, those kind of people knocking on the door, without a doubt. Hey, Thank you so much. Pleasure meeting you here. It's a pleasure Seema. meeting you too. Thank you for everything. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Thanks for the interview, all that stuff. Yeah. Awesome, and, man. Um, as you always sign off, stay dirty. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty.